Hello and welcome to Tower Chef once again. Today we are going to make fish fry using basa fish. We can use, we can make fish fry using other fish like pomfret, katla, etc. But we have tried with basa because it is not having bones. So let's see how to make this fish. Come on. Basa is a fish fillet that we can get across all supermarkets across India. It is basically a boneless fish which is like a catfish which is totally imported. And most of the basa fish is imported in India. Now we have bought 1 kilo of basa fish. For this we have bifurcated it into two parts. Half a kilo will go for frying. Another half would be used for curry. The next step would be to cut the basa pieces into big size chunks. So we will have more from eating the fish. Once we have cut the pieces, the next step is to clean the fish. For this we need to add salt. So the reason why we add salt is to remove the bad smell coming out of the fish. Ensure to use a hand to spread the salt evenly across the fish. After spreading the salt, the next step would be to clean the fish. We wash the fish pieces three times in clean drinking water once we have washed the fish next we have to dry it out by squeezing it so that there is no water content sticking onto the fish pieces this is done to ensure that the masalas stick onto the fish pieces Now we need to add the masalas. For this we add half a teaspoon of turmeric which you need to sprinkle it across the fish. Turmeric has its own medicinal properties which has been used in India for several generations. Next we need to add one teaspoon of Kashmiri chilli powder just to the add to the spicy nature of the fish. But we don't make a fish fry too spicy though. Next we add half a teaspoon of chilli powder. Next we add one teaspoon of resin powder. However, using resin powder adds to the flavor of the fish. But it is optional and it's not mandatory. Next is to add half a teaspoon of pepper powder. Pepper too has its own medicinal properties which we all uh, know about it. And next we add half a teaspoon of jeera powder. Next would be a final masala which would be quarter teaspoon of ginger powder. Now we add salt as per our taste. Ensure to use salt as per your taste only and do not add excess of it. Now we need to add 1 tablespoon of basil powder. We have used 1.5 teaspoons of salt for half a kilo of fish pieces. Now we add 1 cap of vinegar onto the fish. This would give a little sour taste to the fish fry. The next would be to add one cap of gingerly oil.
Now we need to mix all the ingredients together. Ensure that the masalas are spread evenly across the fish. We can use our hands to stir the fish pieces and the masalas together to mix them well. The next step would be to marinate the fish. Ideally, we will keep the fish for an hour in marination. Once the masala is already spread across the fish, we need to cover it up and then keep it marinated for an hour. After an hour, we need to pour 10 teaspoons of vegetable oil onto a tawa and switch it on on high flame. Place each fish into the frying pan. We have placed each fish into the frying pan to accommodate the entire tawa. This would save us on gas as well as the oil. Once the space of the tawa is fully filled up with the fish pieces and the fish started turning brown, the next would be to turn the sides of the fish. Either we can use a spatula or we can use a thong to turn the fish pieces. We have to continue to fry the fish until they are brown in color. By now you will start getting the beautiful aroma of fried fish and it is very yummy to be eat right now. The next step would be to start taking the fish out of the frying pan and placing them on a clean dry plate. Please ensure that we do not take all the fish together else we might risk breaking it. We have taken the fish in small batches so that to avoid it from breaking. Highly fish fry can be used with rice, chapati or any other food and it's always a tasty meal. Also there's not necessary to stick along with basa. We can use pomfret, we can use katla and other fish to make the fish fry and it's a very simple job which takes almost 8 to 10 minutes and it's a very delicious meal too once we have fish with our rice. Especially in Kerala, we will be having fish fry with pulisheri or buttermilk and rice. All these combinations are good with rice and chapati too. Once we have taken all the fish out, it is ready to be served. We have used half kilo fish which would be sufficient for four persons. Probably this depends on how you would use your fish. Probably we can use one kilo of fish or half kilo. However, we have used a half kilo, other half kilo for making gravy or curry, which would be discussed in the next video. Now the fish fry is ready to be served. And here we go. Voila, fish fry, basa style. like watching our videos and I request you to share it with your friends so that they can like and comment and share their videos too. Your positive comments is always a moral boost for us. So please subscribe to our channel 